Welcome back to Smart Money Monday. People have been using mobile wallets and person-to-person -person payment apps like Venmo more than ever. Alicia Kamanava from Bank of Hawaii joins us to help us do that safely. Uh, aloha, Alicia. Hi, Steve. So th the pandemic has really accelerated the whole shift to digital shopping and paying, right? It has. Because people were forced to stay home, contactless payments in the U.S. have increased 150% since the start of the pandemic. Yeah, it's changed the way families, uh, we shop and we pay. How can we make sure that this digital way of paying, though, is safe? Well, if you're going to use a payment app on your smartphone, make sure you use the latest version of the software provided with your device or a verifiable and trusted third-party platform. So just don't just go with any old payment app. Right. Fraudulent payment apps do exist and are created to steal your credit card details. So make sure you do your research and use payment apps that have lots of users, like in the millions, and tons of positive reviews. Also, be extremely careful not to send sensitive financial information over public Wi-Fi. Like, like back in the days when we could actually hang out at coffee shops. Yes, any information sent through public Wi-Fi can be hacked. So be careful when making online purchases. You're safe for using your phone carrier's cellular network or your home's password protected internet connection. What about third party payment services that often pop up as an option when you're ready to pay? Well, those are great options for online shopping and can provide an extra layer of safety. Because instead of providing your credit card number or bank account information to every website where you shop, you provide it only to the payment service which you use for online purchases. That provides an extra layer of protection. And, and online payments with your credit card? Well, that can be safer. If a thief gains access to your mobile payment information, it's better for your credit card to be at risk than your debit card, because credit cards have much better fraud protection. Yeah, that's great information. Thank you, Alicia. Well, no problem. Have a great day. You too, and thank you for watching Smart Money Monday.